So the next thing on schedules is not only having your schedule printed out for you to kind of keep you full on focus, keep you focused. I'm going to quickly show you this. I know I read it to you, but it's always good to like kind of plan your schedule. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. It's different for everybody. Everybody's got different things, different lives, different hours, different like jobs or whatever. So like, you know, you really are your own boss. But as long as you're working at it a lot, like as much as you can. Um, but this is my schedule. This is something that I uh, have been putting on my wall to keep or I can keep in my um, my day planner. And that's the next thing I want to share with you is my day planner because um, especially if you are going to be doing like leadership, um, you're going to really need to, this is really going to come handy for uh, doing leadership. Um, I would just encourage everybody to like get one even if you're just doing sales like get a planner this one is more uh, just give me a sec here I like this one because a lot of um, the other ones they give you your calendar and then they only they each day they only give you like a certain amount of space to write but these ones I actually really like Especially if you're gonna get if you, you, you know you're gonna get busy. These actually give you daily time slots. I hope you can I know that when things come out to the light it kinda changes, but hopefully you can see that. So that's my that's my schedule and then in this corner it's always kinda good to like make some notes, especially for your business. Like you can put other stuff in here too. But um I think what I do is I do highlighters for s different things. So for like all my Avon appointments, I'm gonna highlight it pink. Uh, because I do photography, I'm probably gonna highlight them probably like a blue or a green, something that's not too dark and like completely rubbing out all of my writing. But probably like a blue highlighter. And then for just like daily life, that's probably just going to be highlighted yellow. So it kind of color coat my uh, Avon. For example, let me just go somewhere. They give you space in most of these to kind of write like extra notes and goals. So I'd encourage you to kind of maybe set some goals for each month. I'll just show you this. I don't know if you can see that little highlight underneath there. I'm not going to give you the information of where I'm going or whatever because you don't need to know that. But yeah, like it's always good to like, you will need to have one of these, especially if you are doing appointments with your downline for training or whatever, um, or signing people up. You're, this is going to come in handy. So get a planner. A really good one. One that has time slots every 15 minutes for every hour. Uh, the next one is staying on top of your business with brochures. Um, first of all, I'm probably jumping ahead of myself, but um, deliveries and brochures. Uh, I, in my own experience, when I've gotten deliveries, I've like, okay, cool, they're here, that's awesome. Like when you when you first start something like when I when I first started Avon I was so excited and I still am don't get me wrong but I was like so excited because it's something new in my life and I was so excited to like get my deliveries and package them up really nice and I think that my encouragement for you is to don't lose that um, because if you lose that then you start to become slothful in your business and things kind of get messy. So just make sure that you stay on top of everything that is a, a part of your business. Um, so it's delivery day. You got the delivery truck coming to your house with whatever number of boxes that you're expecting. And so they get here. What are you going to do? Are you going to just leave them on the table? 
and go do your own thing or are you going to jump in? I would say just go and jump in and immediately like I think the one thing that usually kind of gets neglected and put to the last minute is actually um, getting your information on the back of the A1 books um, on your brochures. Uh, that uh, including packaging your customers orders should be done right away don't put it off um, I mean unless you had to like run and go somewhere but like just like you know like this next chance that you get to do this do it don't put it off and become lazy in your business because I find in my own experience I wanted to go do some prospecting and do some customer like finding new customers and I want it to be out by one o'clock or sorry no I want it to be out by 10 o'clock but I spent an hour writing these in and so I didn't get out until 11 11 30 so you know like do these right away as soon as you get them fill your information whether it's by stamps writing or labels just make sure that you do them right away I know it's not always fun having to like write everything but you know like if that's that's how you do it then like get it done don't put it off and that's the same too like I find like even myself like I would I would hold off getting my customers orders bagged up and make sure that you do it nice like do it neat don't do don't just throw stuff in there because then they're just gonna feel like oh well this is you know just they're gonna get this uh, sense or they're gonna get this vibe that you're doing a sloppy job or you really don't care so be professional because um, you know that's how you're gonna that's what customers like and appreciate is professionalism so make sure you do that and get your labels or whatever on the back of these books and then whatever day you have scheduled to go out you can just gather them up and go instead of having to like waste an hour doing these at the last minute so like think about a business like an actual business with a store or whatever if they get a delivery they don't just well maybe they do but like chances are they they're not supposed to anyway you're not supposed to just leave items in the box and I'll just get to it when I feel like it. They, as soon as the boxes get there, they had to un unload them and they had to put them up on the shelves. Whatever it is, like it could be a grocery store, it could be Walmart, it could be Staples, or whatever. They, they had to um, stock it because, you know, it's, otherwise it's just things, things are going to get sloppy if you leave them too long. So that's basically my um, my tip on that. Um, let me just kind of see. Uh, and uh, two, um, don't make sure that you plan on getting out there. Make um, my tips for you would be to um, keep a record of your customers. I'm going to show you. From way back here, I'm not going to reveal all those names to you, but they're my customers. I have about 23 customers, and you know, I think that 23 is not enough. So if you, because not every customer is going to order on, like, on every campaign. So if you are looking to get a certain amount of money each month, then you're going to make sure you need to go out there and get the extra customers. And, um, so when you order your brochures, uh, you want to make sure that you have enough for your customers that ordered, but also your customers that did not order. Because if you, and I've made this mistake several times, and I'm changing this, um, and this is my encouragement to you. If, chances are, like, if you do not reach out to your customers that did not order the last campaign, and give them a book, then chances are is they're. Let me see. Let me just put this. There's probably going to be like, oh well, maybe she's just not like a really good 
salesperson or whatever, um, you always need to make sure that you provide books not just for those who have ordered, but every single customer. And I think it's a good idea, like, to like um, getting back to this, uh, to keep an eye on that um, instead of like sitting there thinking, hmm, I wonder who all my customers are and trying to like rack your ba brain by trying to like think of all your customers is do something like this. I hope you can see that. But, for example, you have, this is kind of just a uh, record of all your customers with their address and their phone numbers and their status and their email. Because, um, so you have name, address, phone, status, email. Status is basically keeping a track of how often they order. So like I have customers that I put down as new. I have customers that I put down as casual, meaning they don't order all the time, but they order sometimes. I have customers down here that are rare, meaning that they order like very, like not sometimes, but less than sometimes. So very, I kind of classify that as rare. And then you also have, um, like even customers that do not want your service anymore, still write them down because you, you never know, they still might come back. And then there's also customer status that I put as a one-timer, meaning I have customers that have only ordered one time and haven't ordered from me again. And sometimes you can't just wait for them to like ask you for a book. It's always good to like reach out to them and ask them if they want an, a, another book. and. They'll, uh, maybe they'll say yeah or maybe they'll say no but that's their choice but at least you're doing your job and reaching out to them so always order books for the customers that did order and the customers that did not order plus extra books to reach out to new customers and I think a lot of people uh, especially like new customers they're like well I'm buying all these books and I'm not making anything well, back to my um, quote that I shared in the first part of this video. Um, you know, you 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 will get out of it what you put into it, and if you feel like you're, um, you know, like do not first of all do not be afraid to like order your brochures because brochures like they're ten forty five per bro sorry ten dollars and forty five cents for a pack of ten brochures. But if you order a quantity of more, they'll give you a deal. Like I've, this is campaign two right now. Um, and also too, like I want to mention too, like if you if you do Avon parties, you're gonna need to make sure that you got enough for your customers that ordered. You're gonna need to make sure that you got enough for your customers that did not order, so you can still keep their, your service with them. Also, customers to reach out to to get new customers. And if you are having a Avon party um, in that campaign, then you will need to get some extras as well. So because I'm having a uh, Avon party on the 10th, um, I decided that I'm gonna buy 60, um, well, not 60, but I'm gonna buy six packages of 10 books, totaling me up to 60 books. And you know, you'd think that, well, you probably be paying like sixty three dollars. No, um, for me to get six pa six packs of ten books, totaling me up to sixty books, it only cost me twenty three seventy five. So they gave you deals. Like it's you know, it's really worth it. So if you feel like you're not getting paid enough because you're always buying books, I would encourage you to just keep on buying books because. If you're only going to reach out to people that you know, um, chances are you're not going to be very successful. If you want a certain amount of money coming to you, um, then you need to reach out to people all the time, not just once or a couple times. Reach out as many as, to as many people that you can, but also have a limit too. Like, say for example, like you know like don't end up getting yourself 400 customers because that's impossible but don't just have like 10 to 15 or 5 customers either because that's not going to get you enough income 
so like just know maybe kind of know how much customers you could probably handle and deliver to I'm gonna go for 60 to 100 or more just because I want to get that income um, and also to remembering that not everybody orders all at the same time so definitely keep a um, keep a record of your customers you, um, they have some tracking handouts that you can print from Avon where you can write down the campaigns that they order from and also how much just to kind of track that but just keep a list of your customers with just their names their address their phone numbers their status and also their email because I, I think it's good I'm starting this too um, to do an email list like a mailing list um, hopefully weekly and that is just so that like a lot of times maybe people feel like oh well this annoying Avon lady keeps calling me and uh, so I think it's still call them I mean if they if they feel like you're calling too much they're gonna tell you but like I think it's always good to like catch up with your customers but it's always also it's a good idea too to start an email list and just say just send an email list to your customers and say tomorrow is the deadline or two days or whatever advance that you want it to and maybe send them some deals and just kind of like any offers if there's any incentives that you have just have an email a, a meet I can't speak have an email mailing list for them so that they can be um, they can be in the loop and so that way they're not getting phone calls all the time so it would be really good to call all of your customers even the ones the one timers that have only ordered one time and just ask them are you interested in still having service with me and do you want to be on my mailing list and that way it, they can be in a loop right and in some ways they're still being connected with you so never be afraid to order your Avon books because in the long run, as long as you're ordering them in quantities and getting them out there, I've had experiences where hardly any people call me, but sometimes people do. And that's the risk that you gotta take. It's just like a business. They gotta buy all of this stuff and get it delivered to their store with the risk of maybe not a lot of people are gonna go and buy their stuff and then they're gonna be it's not going to be good for them, but you got to take the risk if you want to be successful. So don't be afraid to take risks. 